While Butler basketball plays most of its games here at Hinkle Fieldhouse, they had the chance to take their talents to the tropics at the Battle for Atlantis over Thanksgiving break. And with big games against Dayton and Florida, the Bulldogs had a chance to stake their claim as not only one of the best teams in the Big East, but one of the best in the entire country. Butler versus Duke is a story that started in 2010 when the teams faced off in the national championship game in Indianapolis. Nearly a decade later, that story of David and Goliath has added a new chapter, and its name is Jordan Tucker. The former top 100 recruit committed to the Blue Devils before recently transferring to Butler due to a lack of playing time. And just like many that have come before him, he's found a home here in Hinkle Fieldhouse. Thanks, Chris and Luke. And now we want to switch gears to talk about the women's lacrosse team who came off a disappointing 3 and 14 season last year. They started their 2020 campaign this last Sunday with a convincing win over Hanover at home. Eddie Wilde and Andrew Wagner have the story. And I'm Perry Wagner. We got a great show for you today, including an update on the women's tennis team and a check in on women's basketball star Tori Schickel. That's right. Our if one of them does three of 17, which is what happened in the last game against the Nuggets, right. with Dame, it's and okay. They won because CJ's, the other dude CJ's got playing forward. well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Game one, both of them are struggling. Right, they have no one else. Ask. It's so hard because Ennis Cantor just doesn't have the ability to come there. at and he cannot can't get, get there. there. He's been uh -oh. sitting in the paint. I know. So you either have to trust Zach Collins and Myers Leonard to do what you tried to do. But it's tough. And the thing is, Dame and CJ don't guard very well. Steph kind of hides, but Clay can guard either Dame or CJ. That's the difference. I think that's the big difference between those two tandems is Clay's defensive ability. Uh, what is Cantor doing in these play? I feel like Cantor's had a great playoff. He is really good, and he's been injured a lot. Like yeah, his shoulder, but he, he's fighting through it. I know. He's a badass. He's an American. Well, he's not American. He's a Turkish badass. Did you know that he's not eating for Ramadan? Yes. He had to ask Hakeem <laughs> how to eat for Portland to win. Or let me ask you this. Let me ask you a better question. Why has Portland lost? Portland has lost because of a couple things. I think it it's really comes down to their bench has actually been really good. Rodney Hood's been playing great. Curry's really played great. Yes. But it's the forwards. Aminu and Harkless don't give you consistent things, and they make boneheaded plays every single game. So if you can avoid that, and you really have to have it from both of them, um, one of them doesn't give you a good night, and you lose. Thanks, Chelsea. As you can see, I'm actually in my car heading to Hinkle Fieldhouse to pick up Matt Mace, as you said, our, our signature interview for today. This is a new segment we're calling Driving with Dogs, where I'm going to just pick up a dog, talk to him about some life, maybe some basketball, and anything else that pops up. So here he is, Matt Mace, going to hop in. All right, thanks, guys. Welcome into another Driving with Dogs. With me today, we have special guest Sean McDermott of the men's basketball team and Noah Weiss, big smooch himself, uh, one of the managers for the team. So, Sean, I'm going to ask you a question first. Uh, the team did not perform as, as well as anyone really hoped, um, but you had a pretty good year, almost averaging 10 points. What did you work on over the summer and during the season to kind of have this mini breakout season? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Driving With Dogs. I am on my way right now to pick up Michael Kaltenmark, Butler's marketing wizard and also the voice behind Trip, the Bulldog. Really excited about to pick him up, so let's head over there right now. So, yeah, so you said that no day is like yeah. any other. Right. Um, I do know that you actually appeared on, on Jimmy Fallon's show a few years ago. <laughs> we are gonna roll the clip of oh. you in the video, and you then I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get your reaction, okay? okay? Check out all the exclusive content on Butler360Sports.com. 